is an enterprise SaaS platform that makes infrastructure development and planning more agile, accurate, and accessible. To many, developing infrastructure is a solved problem, but you only need to look to London's flagship Crossrail project to see that that may not be the case. Major transport projects routinely suffer from multi-billion pound cost overruns and multi-year delays. Eventually, this starts to add up to real money. McKinsey & Co. estimates it costs the world economy a trillion dollars a year. And it's easy to see why. In the past 100 years, the planning process has barely changed. Whether you're moving a bus stop or planning a rail extension, each discipline works in a silo, handing packages of work to the next silo, hoping to never talk to them again. But today, unlike 100 years ago, there are far more cooks in the kitchen. And keeping them all in alignment throughout the entire project lifecycle is virtually impossible. If you're planning something familiar, like a bus, not talking to other disciplines can be an expensive but viable strategy, since everyone understands what a bus is. But if you're planning anything innovative, these communication barriers can completely kill projects. It's a scenario Podaris' CEO, Nathan Corrin, is intimately familiar with. Having led feasibility studies for innovative transport systems in over 20 countries, he experienced these issues firsthand. It's why Podaris fixes this. We remove the barriers between disciplines, allowing all stakeholders to be on the same page from day one. We do this by putting collaboration at our core. Unlike traditional approaches, we work with the relevant granular data rather than files on someone's SharePoint server. And as the world's first real-time planning platform, we give stakeholders the power of Google Docs combined with SimCity, but for real life. After years of R&D with early adopters, Podaris is being used in projects on every continent except Antarctica. 2018 marked the start of our commercialization efforts, and our customers now range from large private campus owners, such as Google and Heathrow, to global planning and engineering consultancies like Mott McDonald. But this is just the beginning. While the transportation planning market is a massive opportunity alone, the models developed in Podaris are eternally useful throughout the entire project lifecycle. But the problems don't just exist within transport, they exist within all classes of infrastructure. Eventually, this will be a $3 trillion a year market that Podaris can capture 700 million of. Nathan and I have worked together for many years across three different companies, and our small but efficient team achieved revenues of over $400,000 last year. We're seeking £500,000 to build our sales enterprise team, and we hope you'll join us in planning the cities of tomorrow today. Thank you. Thank you, Devon. Do you have any examples or, or evidence of how you helped your, your clients make their operations more, more efficient? Yeah, so the problem in transport is you have so many different stakeholders that need to be aligned from day one. So one of our company, customers who's planning a large campus extension in North America works with the local authorities, the city council, their own private consultancy firm. And so they use Podaris to synchronize their models rather than doing traditional model shares that might happen once a month. And by the time the model share happens, everything is already out of sync. So through Podaris, they're able to always look at the same view of the project, which has helped them avoid communication errors and delays, which would normally be costly. Thanks very much. I was wondering if you could talk a bit about your business model, because this feels like um, something that someone would pay for on a project basis, uh, rather than an ongoing SaaS platform. Yeah, that's one of the challenges that we've maybe faced. A lot of our customers aren't the traditional SaaS ones, and that's why we're looking to expand our sales team. The idea behind Podaris is you want it as a tool in your toolbox, always available. By the time that you have a project, project and a budget, it's too late, and you've already started to introduce the communication barriers that would start to kill projects in the future. So by keeping it as a low-cost SaaS subscription, you can always have access to it, and there's no barrier to adopting it. Could you just go into a bit more detail around that SaaS subscription, actually? So how, what, is, what it costs per, and how you're able to cost that up per, um, yeah. per project, really? So it's a very low cost. It starts at $50 per month per user. And so a traditional project may have 10 to 5, plan five to 10 planners at the start of it, but eventually you might end up with 250 participants involved in it. So it adds up eventually, but it's the low-cost subscription which people, gets people into the platform where we make the real money through add-ons. So some of our customers use Podaris' demand planning capabilities, and so that comes for a much higher price on a per-project basis.